happens when sims are left unattended in The Sims 4? We figured that out the hard way. What about when we download literally every gameplay mod we can possibly find for The Sims 4? Well, we figured that out too. So I thought what would happen in The Sims 4 if we left our sims completely unattended with every gameplay mod enabled? Well, let's find out. I will link those other two videos down below if you want to see my first impression of these two separate challenges. This is going to be combining those two. But for today, let me introduce you to the sims that we're going to be using for this challenge. You might notice that some of the sims have newer traits. That's because one of the mods that I downloaded has a bunch of new traits that you can choose from. So here is Princess Peach. I gave her the natural leader trait. We have Link from Breath of the Wild. I gave him the survivalist trait. We have Isabel from Animal Crossing. I gave her the in the know trait. We have Abigail from Stardew Valley. I left her traits the same. I thought they were just too fitting to change. We've got Mario here. I gave him the high flyer trait. <laughs> Here is Luigi. He's got the coward trait. We have the Disney villain Hades. I gave him the mastermind trait. And finally, we have Mother Gothel, also a Disney villain, and I gave her the I am the master trait. Here is the house that I built for this challenge. I needed a really big single story, like bungalow style home because last time we did this, I had two stories and I figured it would be just a little easier to do it this way. Here is our layout. I have two bedrooms over here. One just with single beds and this one over here with a few double beds. We've got kitchen and dining. I did use a little bit of custom content here because we're using a bunch of mods. I figured why not? We've got our living room, a couple computers hanging out back there and then over here I just made the easiest washroom possible for all these sims. We've got toilets with showers built in, a couple sinks there and that is where they're gonna live. And one of the mods that I downloaded came with a few new lot traits. So I I changed this home to the celebrity hangout trait, which means NPC celebrities will just show up here. And I added the lively neighbors trait, meaning our neighbors are constantly partying. Just to make absolutely sure that there's going to be a lot of chaos. I did also add some lot challenges, basically just the OG ones like the cursed lot trait. We've got the creepy crawlies trait, gremlins, quake zone, volcanic activity, wild foxes, and the spooky challenge. <laughs> Normally when people do this, they like leave their computer. Last time I did this, I left the game unpaused for an entire Sims year, but I watched the entire thing and I intended to do the same thing this time, but we didn't get that far. I didn't control any interaction here. I let them do their thing, but I was there. So you'll see like camera movements and stuff like that. So without further ado, here's what happened. Our sims were off to an ordinary start. Luigi acquired the guitar skill. Peach and Isabel were chatting outside. I saw some weird bugs out there, but so far things seemed normal until Isabel received a very concerning text message to her phone. I knew there was something more going on between those cute, adorable eyes. Meanwhile, Luigi was now learning how to cross stitch. On the first night, a lost toddler appeared and our sims could literally not care any less. Isabel actually noticed and just walked away with Princess Peach and Mother Gothel decides she would rather solve a Rubik's cube. I don't even think Luigi noticed because he was just cross stitching away over there on the porch. Our sims were sitting down having their first family meeting together and I immediately immediately noticed a very weird, tense vibe in the house. It was possible that while chatting with Isabel earlier, Princess Peach noticed that weird text on Isabel's phone. The lost toddler's parent walked himself into my dining room asking for his child's whereabouts and Mother Gothel told him she didn't know, on brand to be honest. I was getting the feeling that this was like one of those TV shows where none of the characters are good people. During the first household meeting, Isabel and Mario were suspiciously outside while Isabel receives yet another suspicious text, a request to eliminate a sim named Fauna who was just standing there in my hallway. Like girl, you could be anywhere in the world right now and you decided to be here at this time. When did you even get here? Oh, and Luigi? 
still cross-stitching on the porch. In the late hours of the first night, we experience our first disaster as Isabel catches on fire. Luckily for her, Abigail shows great bravery and extinguishes the fire immediately, just in time for the person who's been texting her to enter my house. These were not the only problems to occur on the first night. We also had a pesky ghost now haunting us by knocking over our trash and breaking our sinks. Isabel was still having questionable conversations with this strange man, all while our sims were outside freaking out about the fire. Seems a little convenient, doesn't it, Isabel? After everyone, except for Mother Gothel, went to sleep, Isabel claims her first victim by showing insane sword skills and bringing down an epic lightning strike. <laughs> Who would have thought she had that in her? Now we know why Tom Nook has kept a close eye on her all these years. A stranger somehow notices what happened and the medical examiner shows up instead of the Grim Reaper and Isabel, Isabel slips right into bed unnoticed. Except by Mother Gothel who, let's be real, does not care. During this entire playthrough, so many random sims were coming in and out of my house. Like, not my sim, not my sim not my sim, this runaway bride, also not my sim, <laughs> kept pranking this other random sim. But never mind that, we had a real emergency. Someone didn't text Link back, can you believe the audacity? I mean, seriously. Not like we're living with an insane person or anything. So on night two, we got robbed, kinda. This guy literally showed up and then took off his costume and just started chilling like the most normal dude to ever exist. And then, I kid you not, cops started falling from the sky. <laughs> Two of them. And they were mad about it? And then one immediately bolted for the hills. The robber literally walks outside to turn himself in and the other cop just runs away? I had to follow them, obviously, because I'm like, where are these cops running? Like, I've never seen a sim run so fast in my life. And then I find the other one in a pile of leaves. The two of them start playing like children, kicking the leaves and having the time of their lives. Meanwhile, everyone Everyone in the house is just losing their mind, like just running aimlessly throughout the house. And in the midst of all that chaos, a pink lightning bolt strikes down Hades as he's possessed by the darkness all of a sudden, wearing a rather adorable let's never speak of 2020 again hat. Reach, I guess. His first order of evil business, mopping a puddle. Despite him just wanting to keep the place clean, another cop shows up and starts fighting him. Like, don't you know you've got other business to attend to? Like the other cops are clearly doing something more important over here. Needless to say, Hades fails at becoming a villain. Apparently that was happening at the same time Peach attempted to become a superhero. Although it appears Link got the powers instead because he started glowing out of nowhere. In the span of like two seconds, a random sim so far away catches on fire. Another sim is under attack getting swarmed by bees or something and Mario set the oven on fire. Link saves him, yet the other guy is still burning. And there's a weird cheating relationship right on my front lawn. For reasons unknown, Link then gets in a fight. I think it was over taxes. A panicked cowboy shows up and he's so panicked he literally just falls over and dies. <laughs> relatable, honestly. Everyone starts freaking out over this panicked sim, and in the background we see that other poor sim still on fire. Or is he just playing in the leaves? You know what, he actually might be okay. Anyway, we're sad about this panicked sim. Everyone except for Peach and Hades who are throwing a party in the living room. They started flirting and I realized their relationship bar is almost maxed out. No idea when that happened. But then they started slow dancing and it was was actually kind of cute until I noticed Luigi peering sadly from the window. And for some reason, Link kept getting picked on. Like, I don't know why. These sims kept showing up out of nowhere to bully him. Like, he did nothing wrong. And just when I thought things were turning south for poor Link, one of the bullies just falls. And Link springs up. He really is a hero. If this seems all over the place, by the way, it's because it was. <laughs> like all of this stuff happened over the span of like two days. I was frantically moving the camera like all over the place trying to catch each event. <laughs> I feel like there was probably more that happened that I didn't catch. But then lightning strikes again and Luigi is found in a terrible condition with none other than Isabel 
fast asleep beside him. Like, okay, if someone questions you during the incident, you can say you were sleeping, but that alibi doesn't work when you're asleep at the scene of the crime. In the meantime, Mario is over there just trying to fix those leaky pipes. Somehow, Mother Gothel didn't make it either. Like, one second she was just sitting at the table and the next she was like this. And then when the medical examiner showed up, he also stole my entire dining table and the chairs. Abigail was, ironically, becoming friends with the ghosts, like the way these sims fit their real life characters was crazy. Abigail is meant to be lurking around the graveyard. No wonder she's making a bunch of ghost friends. Link then ran away to save one of the many lost toddlers that were roaming around. And while this was happening, I took two seconds to admire my fall village build. It was still over there from when I filmed the video building it. And I mean, look at that thing. I am proud of that one. But anyway, I think the toddler was a trap because then Link apparently got taken away by these two sketchy individuals. This caused more cops to fall from the sky and then one of them decided he wanted to ditch for a barbecue. I think Mario gave him a police report. We tried contacting Link to no avail, but then we finally heard from the people who took Link and they said we can get him back for 5,000 simoleons. I guess no one wanted to do that even though we have 73,000 simoleons sitting in the bank. Someone must have gotten word that we had all that money because a random nanny showed up looking for work. And while I'm distracted by the nanny, this crazy guy shows up and starts lighting everything on fire, like literally everything, in the most convenient location ever, which was right in the path of the exit that our sims take when they freak out about the fire. So one by one, the sims exit the house directly into the fire. First goes Hades, then Princess Peach, then Isabel, and then the nanny looking for work, and all the other random sims that were in my house, then Mario, and then Abigail, and then more sims started spawning onto the lot and they decided to run into the fire and I learned that the guy in the mask was out for revenge. I don't know, I blame Isabel. This massive fire burned on for hours until it claimed every single sim left in my household Everyone, everyone was gone from this. The firefighters showed up in the morning and they started crying. Didn't even bother to put the fire out. They just cried. Now I was hoping in this moment that Link would magically come back so I could keep playing, but no, I got the dreaded game over pop-up. And that was the end of that. I choose to believe that the people who took Link actually saved him. After all, he was the only one who saved the lost toddler. Maybe it was a good thing he got whisked away. Anyway, this is what happens in The Sims 4 when you leave The Sims unpaused with every gameplay mod you can find enabled. I hope you guys liked this chaotic video and if you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Check out those other videos that I mentioned down below in the description and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.